Well, welcome back to uh, K40 instructions how to use my way. <laughs> now, uh, I'm jumping about a bit at the moment with the instructions. I was going to do it in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way to do it to show people how, but it just doesn't work that way. So, I did explain to you on the previous videos the machine and the software required. And on the last video, I did show you the bed I made because there was a lot of inquiries about the bed, how that works. But I'm thinking back, I was thinking about now, I think now I need to show you how we actually control the laser. Rather than go into Inkscape, which is the design package, how you design what you're going to cut out, I'm going to, I'm going to spend this video on the K40 Whisper software, which is, which is this one, if you follow the arrow, which is this one over here. Uh, which were just load up and 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 this is what you get and all this all this program does it actually controls the laser and it, it does it does what it says that's the image area there and then you've got the control bits here so what we have to do to start with is uh, we have to initialize the laser cutter uh, which is what we're going to do so I'm going to put you on pause and then we'll come back and show you what happens once we've initialized it Right, we're back. Uh, right, you have to connect the uh, obviously the the printer up. It's just with a printer lead. Yeah, uh, you know the USB to that funny shaped one that you normally put on a printer. Okay, well, in the old days, you know, before we had uh, Wi-Fi printed, use one of those cables. So you connect that up to the the laser laser machine, and then you switch the machine on which is what we're going to do now. I do apologise because I, all I do is I just film, as you can see, I just got a camera points on that. I don't do screen grabs and all that. So we're, we're, we, stick, we stick the laser on. So the laser is now running. Most important, when the laser switches on, there's two things you must check. One, that the water is running through uh, the laser. If you make a habit of checking that every time, then you're never going to blow your tube up because you've always got water running. I, I tend to leave the uh, the pipe that recycles it so it drips into the water so I can hear it running. That way I know that it's always running. And also check that the fan's pumping out the air. So once they're working, then we go. So then what you have to do, you have to initialise the laser. What this does is switches the laser on and brings the laser to point A or wherever, wherever it starts. So we, we initialise the laser. I have you heard that. So now what's, what, what's, what's happened now is that the laser has gone, ha, has gone to point A. Let me just... Uh, I, I know this is very simple for people who know all about lasers, but if you've never done it before, it, 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 it's quite interesting. It took me ages to uh, sort, of, sort of work that out. So that then puts that to there, right? So then, uh, on, the, on the screen here, let me just point, point to the screen. Uh, so that's where we did the, oh, we can do it with the arrow, can't we? Can you see the arrow? If you can, if you can see the arrow, the, the initial. You have to open a file. So now, what I'm going to do is, on the previous one, on Inkscape, I did make a, a, a little test square, which is purely designed for what I'm doing, which is six inch square laminates, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open a file, okay? So we go to there. Uh, excuse all this, this is all my all my rubbish here. Uh, master stencils, uh, I got stencils for Christmas. Uh, we go on to there, I, I'm sure we do. Uh, Ah, here we go, and there the six by six test one. Remember that was the one I made in uh, in Inkscape. It should have a square, a circle, and a star on it. it takes a little while to load. This does, uh, but once it's loaded, we can see. So, so that has come. This is the information which comes over as an SVG. Here it is, SVG file. Now this is this is the size of the area that we had on Inkscape. I don't know if you can see it. That, that is the size. Now, the grey area is the actual print area that a machine will cut out. So you don't want any image outside that area. If, if you've got an image 
like if, if you're playing with Inkscape and for some reason you, you've taken a circle and you've put it somewhere else and just put it to one side forget about it when you actually download that program from Inkscape to uh, Whisper it remembers that there's this this circle object that's way off screen but of course because it's way off screen it doesn't forget about it, it remembers it's there and then of course then when you put your laser on it wants to and the, the laser won't scan outside that area. Did that, does that make sense? So make sure, uh, I always make it very small to make sure there's no other information there. So there, there, there you've got it. Now, so over here, you always push home. Because then what that does, if it hasn't initialized correctly, it takes the laser back to its home spot. Right? Then what you can do here is that on this square, square, I don't know if you can see this over here, this square bit here. Uh, over, over here, can you see? See, I'll put my finger on it, right? So you've got the four corners. So if you push that, the the actual laser head will go there, and if you push that, it will move over to there. Can you see? It went right to the corner of the piece of paper. Can you see that target there? And then if you then push the bottom right hand corner, it's, it it takes it right over to there. And likewise, if you go back to there. It takes it there. So what I do when I first set up is is that I put it into all four points, yeah, and I do a, 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 a test a a test thing with the with the laser just to make sure that it's actually going to the right spot. So what the, so uh, I find a, 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 an old sheet of paper here, which uh, we've got. Okay, and uh, we we lay that we lay that in, in into where we want it. Uh, right, so that so that's laid in there like that. Now what we do is we bring we bring the camera over now. Uh, to to show you what I'm on about. It's a bit awkward now because I've got this on a tripod. So there, so there's the head there, right? And that's that's the piece of test paper I've I've, I've got laid in there. So what we're going to do now is actually push the test button uh, to see uh, if if the laser tests test test which push that just go very quickly. Now that. You can't see nothing because let me just put that because I've obviously measured this out. So if I put that piece of paper there, well, can you see see on that corner? So when I push the test switch, hopefully we get a little mark there. There, did you see that? See, so that is bang in that corner there, right? Then, so I know that that's the edge of my thing. Then, if I then uh, let's make this smaller, then. You can most probably see it all if I. So I do apologise. I I am a total amateur at videoing, but uh, I think it's not how it's what you get at the end of it's more important. So we're just making the tripod a little bit smaller, so I can. Uh, I might cut this, but it'll be never know. Right. So now what we're going to do now is uh, is is we're going to move the laser head over to that corner. So if you can see, can you see it moving over there? Right. And then what we do is we just test where the lasers go in then. And I, 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 because I've set this up for what I do, I know it's going to test test about there. So if, if we just overlap that piece of paper slightly, you will notice that goes right into, did you see into that corner there? Did you see the, the, uh, the laser light? There it goes, can you see it? It's just there, so I know that that's the end. So I know it now, it will now cut from that point to that point, which is my piece of uh, my piece of laminar, and then you, I do exactly the same on the bottom. So now, if we now put uh, the the laser, can you see it? It's now moving to the bottom, right? Then I now know that if, if if I put the piece of paper there and I push the test button, it does it does a little burn there. Can you see? So I now know that is that is the that area. Is, is, is that area there? Can you see? So that goes to there, and then we can then. Now it's most uh, most important that you do 
take it back to home because all the all, all the program remembers is where it, where the laser head is. So if I was to start printing now, it will think that point is that point, and everything would be out of line, and you get a horrible noise, and you rip all the gears off, the, and you have to buy a new belt. Yes, I did. All right, so we can go back to there. So that's now taking it back to that point, if you can see it, and then we go home. And then we go home. Can you see? And, 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 and that is, is it. So that's how the laser is controlled. You, you purely send an, an SVG file to the laser, right? Uh, and then it remembers. Then, so that, that's the movement of it here. You can, of course, move this, this, this area here, the, the actual print area, you can move it. Right, but if you if you you can't what you can't do is take it out of the area. Can you see see that grey area? You must keep it in that area there. So I, I because I'm used to doing lasers, I tend to do it that, that way. Leave it there. So there, and then you push home. Right, in it's home. So so now everything's into because when I built this bed, I built it all so that it's, it's all registered into into that corner, and and this bed is though it's not fixed, it, it's it's quite square in there. So now, if I now close that down, okay, we've only got a piece of paper in there, okay. Uh, so we'll we're, we're just see if it, if this, if, I haven't done this one before, we'll just see if it works. So here we go here. Now, I don't, I, I'm not going too far. So, so that's how you control the laser. That is our, our, our image there that we, we made the other day with InScape, which is just a, a square, a circle, a star, okay. And, and then this here is how you control it. Now I did say to you the other day that uh, we, I only use vector cut because I cut it. Then you've got vector engrave and raster engrave, uh, pass. Uh, okay, so I just use vector cut. So therefore you, you, you put on vector cut, okay, and, and then off it goes. And then if we look down here, you will actually see that the laser is cutting cutting that square out. Can you see that? Right. Then it will go over and hopefully now do that circle. Right. And then here it, it should do, do that star. Now I'm doing this on paper. Uh, not on the laminate, but the laminate is very, very, very similar to paper. Now the beauty of me only using thin stuff is that I don't need much power on the laser. I've only got it on number 11 at the moment and I can adjust that. So that's the star out. And now hopefully it will actually cut the square out. Okay? Now you can speed the... You can speed the laser up. Health. You've got two controls over the laser head. You can either make the laser head go faster right or uh, and then you would need more power or you can use it like I do quite slowly with very little power because what I'm trying to do is not burn the laser out so so I use it quite slow and I've come up with these these uh, values purely by practice practice and practice uh, and, th and therefore that uh, that will hopefully cut that uh, I hope uh, Thank you watching this. And, and then it, it goes up there and uh, and then cuts it out and then and you really have to play with the power which I've only got it on as you can see 10 10 mm per second. So what that stands for, I've no idea. Millimeters per second. So that's how, how that's how fast the the actual will cut, right? And then you then adjust the uh, the power. Uh, I've got it on the uh, 11 11.5. 11 uh, you can go a lot lower. Anyway, so that's it. So let's let's now just take it out, shall we? And we'll show you what we've cut out. Uh, So, so there you go. That uh, so that was the A4P. As you can see, I've got it all lined up so it actually fits it, because that's all I want to do. 
I hope that wasn't important. I hope the wife doesn't want that. I've, I've just cut up a bit of her paper. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so, so that's that's how it cuts. And then, therefore, and then what you've got here is that square that uh, we had up there, didn't we? Can you see? With a circle, a square, and a, a star out. So, so it works quite well, doesn't it? And uh, the 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 edges are quite quite good. Let me have a look at that. Because on here, yeah, you know, on on the screen, you see you've got you've got steps, but that's purely the lines on the screen because it, it's actually cut it out perfectly square. So there you go. We've we've cut a square, we've cut a, a circle, and we've cut a, 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 a triangle out. So that's basically how how the laser works. Is the whisper the whisper whisper K40 that program there controls the laser machine yes and then you send the you send the information on an SVG file from Inkscape which is what the people recommend or everybody's recommending me and you you design whatever image you want I design this here well thank you very much for watching the uh, video if you'd like to support my channel you can do so by uh, obviously sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel but even more i'd appreciate it more if you'd love to buy me a cup of tea so i can dunk my biscuits into it would be greatly appreciated follow the link in the description thank you